So something that I hear a lot on this side of the internet is that people think that gym selling doesn't work or that gym selling is a huge waste of time. Well, in most cases, it is true, but it's because of a specific reason. You see, a lot of you, even after two or three years of lifting experience in the gym, you still won't cross the threshold to have that halo effect from your body. I believe there are at least two prerequisites, and if you fulfill these, then if you actually develop a really good physique, you will have tremendous success in your dating life. Those two prerequisites are, you are not shorter than 5 feet 8 inches, and you are at least a 5 in the face. Now for the guys that have these but have been in the gym for a couple of years and, you really feel like your physique didn't help you in dating at all, I think you guys mostly fall into two categories. The first category is some of you might actually have some leanness, maybe you have a bit of abs, but overall you still look small and weak. The second category is some of you guys might actually have some decent size, however you are not lean enough and, you are likely underestimating your body fat. And from a female perspective, leanness is more important than size, but the thing is, you can't afford to be skinny when you are average looking in the face, some part of you has to be outstanding. In my opinion, the only guys who can get away with being skinny with abs are guys that have extremely good looking faces and they will mostly get away with it during their younger years up until their early 20s. The truth is you need a decent amount of size combined with leanness and that's what separates the guys who get an halo effect from having a good body from those who don't. Get the fuck away from me. If you are a 5 in the face, this is your best shot at separating yourself from the normie from a pure look standpoint. Right now on the screen you will see a graph that I think will help you guys understand what I've been talking about throughout this video. So the 8 plus is the category of physiques where you start to see that halo effect from it and I will post this types of physiques in a second because there can be a lot of range to it. And you guys fall into the area where the circle is, which explains why most of you do not get a benefit from body in the dating market. Now on the screen you can see a wide variety of physiques that cross the threshold, yes, a lot of these guys have good looking faces to go with it but that shouldn't be the point of focus here. The point is, if these good looking guys are maxing their bodies, what makes you think that you can sit on your ass at home, complaining on YouTube, forums and whatnot, about going to the gym being a waste of time? A lot of you are just looking for excuses because you don't actually want to put it in the work and aren't willing to do whatever it takes to Luke's max. The reality is, if you guys had this type of physique, you would be killing it in the dating scene both in your local area and online on dating apps like Bumble and Tinder. And if you don't believe me, there are plenty of Tinder and Bumble experiments with guys who are very average in the face, but with really good physiques. Now the way to achieve this types of physiques is a topic for another video, but I just wanted to get this out there because I really think people are not taking action and are approaching things in a negative and doomer way. That's it for today, expect videos every week, and we also have daily shorts with looks battles between Hollywood celebrities, famous footballers, internet celebrities, and prominent figures in the manosphere.